Of course, you gotta always be conscious. You know, um, I'm pretty sure he didn't know what was going on. Well, I don't, I don't mean him, but yeah, I, I don't want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's one hundred thousand people, it's kids jumping up and down. You can't see everything from on stage, but that, you know, God bless everybody, man. She doesn't get enough. She's like an unsung hero. Mm -hmm. But she got so many hits, and she's relevant today as she was since day one. And she's even more beautiful and selling out tours and doing movies and TV shows. So, you know, I'm proud of my sister. Yeah, I have a TV show coming too on, on mainstream TV. Is that, is that That's a fact. Yeah, I can't tell you what station, but you know, it's coming. It's an amazing feeling. I just feel like women empowerment. I feel like love from my peers, you know, and to be here with Soul Train and BET, it's just a cultural moment for me, you know, so I'm very excited. <laughs> So many things. I'm executive producing a film. Um, I'll be starting to film in January. It's called Plus One. Uh, Cedric the Entertainer is playing my dad. I think we'll get Vanessa Williams to play my mom. It's a rom-com. Very excited about that. I have a book coming out. And I'm getting a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Uh, well <laughs> Um, we'll, we'll see. You know, we have to see if we find some writers that can that can help. But Tyler has a voice, yeah. a very spe uh, specific, successful voice, uh, a voice yes. that's valued at over a billion dollars. Yeah. Yes. So you know, people always have something to say. But um, you know, you can always get more people, but not too many chiefs in the room because you want to make sure that the voice is similar to what he's been doing for the past 20 years. really a, a black or white thing you know and in, I can only speak from you know experience of like you know when I'm performing and, and there's somebody and there's something going on in the crowd that I'm totally not aware of um, you know it's there, there's been moments to where I'm contemplating like do I need to like stop the show and, and, and say something um, but it's uh, you know you know I'm at this point I'm speculating you know but um, I think it's, it's a tragic thing you know and and you know, really, feel, you know, feel feel for you know the, the, the people that passed away, and, and Travis at the same time, you know, because um, you, you know that that's just heavy, you know, to, to you know to be present while something like that happens at a show. You know, it's a moment to really, um, you know, kind of champion and, and celebrate Black art, and. I love that the focus is on, you know, soul and R&B, and um, you know, it's, it's really rad to be, you know, carrying on a legacy of Don Cornelius in that way. And um, man, you know, honored to be here. I feel like my shows really be on the more cooler side, so. I really couldn't say what I what I uh, would suggest them to do because my shows don't like be like raging and like it's not that type of music. So my shows be like lighters in the air type, you know what I'm saying? Uh, cool little vibe. So I really couldn't say. I, I really wouldn't know. Like I really wouldn't know. But I do feel like you know uh, artists should take more responsibility to make sure they fans safe for sure. I, I think it's something that needs to be looked at. You know. Um, when I thought about the whole tragedy and what happened, the first thing, first thing I thought of is there's never enough security in any venue that you go into to, to, to stop any of these kind of incidents from really being a tragedy. You know, from basketball games to football games to whatever. But that that's just something that we're used to. You know, this is a situation that's kind of out of the norm. So going forward, it'll be interesting in how they, you know, kind of police the, the, the festivals and, 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 and big events, period.
I'm so proud of her, man. She, you know, that's that's my baby sister, but you know, a lot of times like my big sister, you know what I mean? Because because we, we 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 go through our conversation pieces, and she she's so knowledgeable about a lot of shit. So I learn a lot from her as she does from me. So you know, it's it's it's, it's a blessing to see her behind it tonight. It's it's a deal. Soul Train.